820. I have my oatmeal. I'm dressed and I'm ready. Y'all probably wondering why are you up at 8 in the morning? Oh, it's 820 in the morning. Sorry, I didn't say in the morning. It's 820 in the morning. And we have plans today. Exciting. Very exciting plans today. I actually woke up at 5.15 a.m. I'm going to sit here and eat my oatmeal, watch some TV as I wait for my siblings and my parents to get ready because today we're going to go see some land that um, we own. We, as in the Pope family, we own some land here. And we're going to decide if we want to build on that land or if we want to buy some more land and build on that land. But, you know, I came here about business. I didn't come here to play. I came here to work. So, so this land is the first step. This oatmeal is really good. I ate it with some bow fruit. But the bow fruit is gone because I ate it. So, all I have now is oatmeal. I could have started recording earlier, like when I got the oatmeal and when I got the bow fruit and all of that. But for one, it was 5 a.m. And, you know, it's too early. And I would have had to record people making my food and showing. And it's just like nobody wants to be recorded at 5 a.m. Like, I didn't even want to pull my phone out at 5 a.m. But, yeah, so I'm going to show you all when we get in the car and head over to the land and show y'all what it looks like and let y'all know if we're gonna build on that or buy some more land, so just stay tuned. We're out here looking at the land that we're gonna be, oh wait, sorry. We're looking at the land that we already purchased and we're going to decide if we want to keep this land. Well, we're going to keep it, but if we want to build my property on this land or if we want to get some more land and build on that. So that's where we are right now. Yep, so we're just talking right now. Yep, don't sleep in your face. Nothing really exciting going on. My dad walked all the way um, to where he bought the plot. At. I'm kind of whispering because I'm kind of loud and there's a lot of people out here. It's kind of embarrassing. Oh, no. But it's see. okay. Let me see. Let me see. Oh. Look at it off your eye right there. My mom being a mom. <sighs> it's hard having older children. When they're younger, they do what you tell them to do. When they're old, old, they don't. We're old? No. So what does young. that make you? I have them at a very young age. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to show y'all a little, let's go on a little walk and talk. Let me walk. Buying land in Ghana is kind of tricky because my dad bought this land like before I even came to Ghana. And he had it was issues with the land, so now we're getting the issues cleared, and we're gonna actually get assigned plots today. So that's why we're here. Yeah, this is like pretty much how it looks like regular land before you build something on the land. Like this stuff is process of being built. I'm not sure what it's gonna be, but it's in the process. And if you can see, like back there, it's in the process of being built as well and it's a long process it's not a fast process at all it takes time to build but the first step is buying your plot because once you buy your plot it's yours and you can build on that plot 10 years from now five years from now or tomorrow like you can build on it whenever you want i know the wind's blowing so you probably can't hear me but basically the first step for a major investment is to invest so my dad has this business mindset, which I am very grateful for because he had a business back in America. So he he still has that business mindset. So with his knowledge plus, plus my creativity and imagination, we're going to build something so beautiful that you wouldn't even, can't even imagine. 
can't say too much though you don't want to block your blessings you got to keep some stuff private until it's done you feel me but just know i'm getting some land and i'm building something on it period I'll check back in with y'all when um my mom said come on so I'll check back in with y'all once um we figure out you know when some more info comes to mind or comes in with when some more info presents itself I will get back with y'all so until then later Buona. Uh -huh. Three this way, two this way. Yes, three this way, two that way. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So let's go. You see? So, yeah. So. It starts here. No, it starts from the other side. Oh, okay. It starts on that side. Want to go to the other side? Look yeah. At let's go. We'll go here. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So it starts here. We start with this pillow. See, the pillow has the number on it. And the number tells you the number of your plot. Okay. Our plot started 865. 865 right here. 865 is us. Mm -hmm. Then we go to eight, it's three this way, three plots. Okay. From here to here is one plot. Okay, so it's like this long and that wide over this way? 70 by 100. Okay, 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 okay. So this is 70, this is 100. Okay. It ends over here. This is where 869 ends. Uh -huh, you go back if you are. You see that fence? Mm -hmm. They bought 100. They are also Americans. Oh, okay. They bought 100 plots. But they are, they are like a family. So very soon they will start with this. What about... Uh, see this? Go ahead. See this? All this. This is us. The land is paid for. You can build whatever you want to build. You can start your American dream. In Ghana, your Ghanaian dream. You can build your own dream house. All this land goes away from the greens. You can see the ocean not even 600 kilometers away. You can build a zoo. You want to, yeah. You can build a zoo. So when I will come here? Uh, probably soon. I don't know exactly what day, but soon. Whenever they give me my number, my, my I want to see a lion. Yeah, let me lines. tell y'all, it's no lions in Africa. So I don't know who told y'all to get just it together. Not, just not oh, one. sorry, sorry, sorry. I mean, in Ghana. I mean, it's, no, no, it's not. No, Ghana. I mean, it's not, not it's running not around. around. It's not running around in Ghana. But maybe, maybe if you go to Madagascar, so maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as hot as I thought it was gonna be. The wind makes up for the heat. We're leaving our plot now, and my brother is driving. I don't know what done happened, but the whole switcheroo came about, and James is on the driver's seat. Oops. I'm drinking sachet water. We were riding in the car, and we got lost. L-O-S-T. Because we're in unfinished. meters, turn right. We're in unfinished territory, and like it's no road, so we don't know where we're going. But lucky for us, a trotro, which is the public transportation like MARTA, is trotro. We found a trotro. Right, so right. we're just following them. Y'all, we've been driving around in circles for like, like, like 30 minutes. Last time I showed y'all my brother was driving, yeah, no. My dad took the wheel meters, again because turn left. we got lost, respectfully. We're out here looking at some more potential land, y'all. So exciting. It's so hot today. Like, it don't feel like the regular days where it used to be like a little bit of heat and then a lot of breeze. It's just for like breeze on breeze on breeze. But this, this sand right here, yeah. It's giving. And in the palm trees, this is not Miami. I promise you it's not Miami at all. <laughs> Very far from Miami, you feel me? You dig what I'm saying? Don't look at my edges because, you know, the Ghana weather and the Ghana heat would sweat it out. Plus, I haven't did my edges in like a long time. So this is, some, this is some potential land that I might purchase. Might, heavy on the might. 
I like how it's this close to the water. The water's here, but the land, only thing that's for sale is all the land that's green. So I can't buy the sand, obviously. It's for public use. But that green stuff back there, I can buy that. And you see how that's walking distance from the ocean? Yeah, so I might invest in that, you feel me? to rain but it looks so pretty though like why is it a beautiful everything in ghana is just so beautiful because why do these clouds look like that you feel me like yeah this is the first rain i've seen in ghana since i came in december which has been like two months this is the first time i've seen rain but it's not rainy season so i guess that's why well i know that's why my dad told me um, it's not rainy season, but it is raining today, sadly. Rainy season will be here in a few more weeks, according to my goddamn father. The rain is going to cause our day to be shortened, so I might have to end the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching my day of my life of me looking for a potential land or looking at land in general um see you guys in the next vlog don't forget to like comment and subscribe you know what i'm saying and watch my previous videos to get an idea of why i'm even here in the first place okay bye it's been real y'all be safe be easy i'll see y'all in the next vlog